I bet the last video you watched about learning to DJ was like this. Today, we're gonna to learn the fundamentals of DJing by breaking down this house track. Let's start by- <coughs> You in the back. Yeah, like, does it have to be house? Yeah, I was just wondering, like, don't the principles apply to anything like dubstep or whatever? And I don't really like house. Get out. A house beat is simple and easy to understand. That's why it's so popular for beginner DJ lessons. But there are a few reasons why learning to DJ with house music might be holding you back. One of the most important aspects of DJing is understanding rhythm. Rhythm is simply a pattern of sound that repeats regularly over time. A 4x4 house kick is only one kind of rhythm that you're going to encounter. I strongly believe most people can bop their head roughly in time with almost any repetitive dance beat. Some people can even dance to it, regardless of whether it's house, breaks, drum and bass, or something else. For this reason, I also believe you can learn to beat match using any genre of music. DJ educators have collectively agreed house is the ultimate and easiest way for a beginner to learn how to beat match. I want to challenge that. Let's play a game. I'm going to mix two house tracks and two drum and bass tracks. On each of them, I'm gonna mix one in time and I'm gonna train wreck the other. I want you to see if you can tell the difference. Could you tell which of those were beat matched? Was one genre harder than the other for you to hear? Let me know in the comments. Being able to intuitively understand rhythm is something that comes with experimentation and practice. That's why I strongly recommend training your ear with as many different kinds of rhythm as you can. Some people learn best by learning all the fundamentals first. Why things work the way they do, what the theory is behind them, and why things are done in a certain way. And that might be how you learn as well. House music is great as an analogy for this kind of learning. It's one of the simplest dance music structures to understand and explain. It's like four kick drums and it just repeats. But others learn better by physically experimenting and actually playing around with things. This is how I finally learned how to play an instrument. And it's also how I learned to DJ. Back then, Queen Victoria was on the throne and there were no YouTube videos to help me learn how to DJ. I had two vinyls and these are the actual ones. I set the pitch on deck two and pressed play when the outro to deck one started. If it didn't sound right and it never did, I reset the whole thing, changed the pitch slightly on deck two. I did it again and again and again. It took weeks for me to finally get them in time. Not least because back in those days trance tracks were about eight days long. But the funny thing is, through all that experimenting and failing, I believe I train my ear far better than if I'd just watched a YouTube video on beat matching some house tracks. Just because a YouTuber or DJ course demonstrates something using house music, it doesn't mean that you can't practice with something else. They aren't your mum, unless they are. You may be surprised that something you previously couldn't get the hang of suddenly clicks when you try it in a different way. DJing is an art form that allows you to express yourself and learning how to experiment early in your DJing journey will really help you develop this skill. The risk with spending too long learning how to DJ with house music is you become only able to DJ with house music. Every genre is unique and mixed in a different way. They have different structures, phrasing, and the crowd has different expectations of the DJ. Learning how to mix a house intro and outro together is one of the main things that's taught on beginner DJ courses, and it's a great milestone. But ultimately, if you wanna be a drum and bass DJ, it's a lot less useful than you might think. This also applies if you're a mobile DJ or wedding DJ who's expected to play a whole different variety of music. A chef specializing in Indian cuisine doesn't spend 20 years learning how to cook fish and chips. So sure, practice with some house, but also practice with genres you actually want to play. Practice with genres you don't. By expanding what you practice with, you may actually be able to come up with new and exciting ways to mix your music. I promise you it will make you a far more rounded DJ in the long term. Contrary to popular opinion, I do actually like house music. A house beat is not the only kind of beat you can learn to beat match with. It's not the only beat that makes DJing concepts understandable. Break beats are not scary. And ultimately, learning to DJ should be fun. What's one way to make it more fun? Learning with tracks you actually like. If you're into house, great. But even if you are, don't be afraid to experiment and learn with other genres. And if you need a bit of help with that, watch this video next where I explain phrasing that will help you break down and understand tracks from any genre.